Simcolor here and today we're going to take a look at how to um, use the Firebase authentication system with your projects. So first of all, let's go into our Firebase um, project and you'll probably be in this screen going to authentication and in here go to sign in method now in this lesson we will only be uh, looking at the email and password uh, type of authentication but in future uh, lessons we probably will take a look at google and facebook because they are the most used today but for now only email and password enable it Okay, now that that's done, let's go into our project. If you don't have this, you can download it from my uh, Google Drive. I'll link it below. Uh, also, if you don't understand what's in here, please take a look at my previous lessons. I'll, I go into really deep detail about everything that has to do with the database and Firebase and how to set up everything, so take a look at it. I'll probably drop a link in the screen right now. So when in here, go into Gradle scripts, build Gradle, and write this, this line. This is all in the um, Firebase uh, documentation, so I can link it below that way you don't have to write everything down. After you place that line in the dependencies, it must be here, uh, sync it, wait a bit. Okay, after that's done, going to add Java, and in Java create a new activity, an empty one. And this activity will have the login and uh, registration uh, part of the, the project. So call it login activity. Activity login. It is our launcher activity because in order for the, the user to advance into the next screen that we already created and it's called main activity, it must, he must, he or she must uh, first login into their account. So finish. So now that we have our login activity, let's go into our uh, activity login.xml. And in here, I've already created it. And um, yeah, we have the login up top and the registration down here, each with email and password. That's everything we are going to add at the moment of creation, at the moment. But in the next lesson, we will take a look at how we can actually provide extra data in the moment of registration. But for now, let's just do it like this. Uh, you can take a look and copy or take it from my Google Drive. And now let's go into our login activity and pass the data, the, the data from the XML to the uh, class. So first of all, let's go in here and create the variables. Edit text and email login and end password login. And below that, let's add and email registration and and password password registration let's add the find view by IDs Login. 
that. And let's add the buttons as well. Private button and button login and end button is registration. Let's import the button. Okay. Now let's repeat this process for the two buttons. Okay, now that that's done, let's add the. Um, let's start working on our login and registration. First of all, we need to have two variables. The first one, it's Firebase of, and we are going to give it the name of M of. Okay, now let's add a second variable, which is going to be the listener for this of, and we are going to, in the, it is of the type Firebase of dot, uh, Firebase of dot, of state listener, which is equal to Firebase of listener it isn't he equal here it is just the name of the variable so let's take that off okay now you're going to assign values to these variables and the first of which is the dm of and let's say firebase of dot get instance this will store the status of the um, the login status of the app so if there is someone logged in or not and if someone sign, signed in or someone signed off so anytime this changes that means there was a change in that status so now let's add the, the listener firebase of listener equals new firebase of listener, okay. Add a semicolon and create a Firebase user equals to Firebase of dot get instance dot get current user. And now we are going to do an if user. It's different from null, which means that there is a user logged in and we can move on to the next pane. So intent, intent equals new intent current activity, which is logged in activity dot this and the activity one we want to, to get to, which is main activity dot class. Start activity intent and finish the current one. Add return and it is done. Okay, so now we are going to add the um, set of unclick listeners for both buttons. We are going to start with the, the registration dot set on click listener, new on click listener. Now we are going to get the, the strings that the user uh, wrote into each edit text. So string email 
equals an email registration dot get text dot to string and let's repeat this to the password password and and password uh, registration okay so next you are going to actually um, create the user using this function and um, create user with email and password and you pass the parameter as email and password password dot add on complete listener then you put um, your activity which is in this case is login activity dot this uh, comma new on complete listener of result at the semicolon at the end and that's basically it uh, Firebase makes it really easy for you you just need to put this and an account will, will be created you don't need anything else so this is the most important thing that you have here but now if you want to know if the, the, the creation was successful, all you have to do is if dot is successful. So if the registration isn't completed and the, the server basically said this isn't good or the phone itself, if this fails, then this if will be triggered and you can for example make a toast make text okay show the user that something went wrong something error and for the registration this is it this is the, the only thing that you need now um, oh, and before that, um, every time a user registers, uh, he he or she is automatic automatically logged in. So, if this doesn't fail, this uh, listener is automatically called, and because this user will be different from null, you move on to the next page. Okay. So now let's do the login part. Dot set on click listener new on click listener. Okay. Let's again grab the email and password, but this time for the login and password password login and next we have to do a similar similar process from the registration which is uh, sign in with email and password and you do basically the same so pass email and password dot add on complete listener your current activity dot this new on complete listener okay the semicolon and in here you can repeat this if task is not successful just um, I guess here it is sign up not sign in and here you can leave sign in so if the task is successful or if this if doesn't isn't called, then um, as the in the create user, uh, this function will be called, and because the user won't be null, then the main activity will be called upon, and you will move on from this pane. Now, one very important part is to actually 
start this listener because if you just leave it like this then it it will never be called or will only be called once so you need to actually start it and to do that say on start and say m off dot f of state listener and say firebase of listener which is our listener here now let's do the on stop and we do this for for the listener to stop basically listening for changes in the login status when this uh, activity is closed so remove of state listener firebase of listener and that's it now let's run the application and see if it all checks out okay so after that is done and is as finished compiling let's try to register someone let's say test 2 at test.com and let's say a password one two three four five six register okay so what we believe that has happened is this if task was um, not called so uh, the registration was successful and then it went to the off listener and the user because the user wasn't no this if um, was true and we moved on to the next page which was the main activity which is this one that we are seeing right here let's go into our firebase account go to your console and let's see if the user is there okay firebase tutorial authentication and here it is test at test.com and the user is given a, an id an unique id um, each time it is created so yeah i believe that's it uh, if you have any questions please leave them down below in the the comment section i will respond to every single one of you leave a like subscribe and yeah ciao